What is going down, y'all? Welcome to Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris, and with me as always are my buddies Jesse and Mike. How's it going? What up? Guys, Season 7 of The Walking Dead, Episode 12, entitled Say Yes. This is our discussion on it. No. So, deal with it. No? Just No. no. No, Mike, you're having no. a rough time with these episodes, man. And you I've... too, Jess. You guys are really Jess. Jess threatened to to run out this episode. He was like, "I'm gonna fucking leave during the live." I reaction. stayed till the end, though. I, I, yeah, he I, stayed. He stayed. Embraced it. Um, come on, who hasn't been having a fucking rough? time? I know. I don't think anyone's bro. really been like. You know what it is? I think we're all fucking tired of them drawing them. We don't need thirteen the episodes. Then, then let there be yeah. fucking ten episodes. Who cares, man? Yeah, I'd rather them more action packed than just so push the fucking story along. Yeah, like we didn't. And this isn't, you know, this isn't just us. This is from from many many people that I speak with. Yeah. You know, obviously, I always go into work on Mondays, and I'm always getting, you know, talking with coworkers and friends and stuff, and and everybody seems to have the same kind of idea that, you know, uh, that we've had, you know, with these last few. I mean, besides um, besides the first episode of this mid season premiere yeah, the with the daryl thing and and rick you know you know and then them you know saying that we're gonna do this i mean these last three now have kind of been you know little shit. Lackluster. balls yeah <laughs> not great so i have the description here that they give i got some adjustments to make to it afterwards though yeah uh, gonna the t- group scavenges for supplies someone mm. in alexandria must make a morally changing decision I believe that's supposed to be challenging, but, you know, they, they suck at writing their descriptions. So, the group doesn't scavenge for supplies. Rick and Michonne do. Rosita goes out on a little bender to find a gun that she finds a toy gun on. Uh, and Tara sits there, talks to Judith, and, you know, kind of like an imaginary friend that's kind of real. Makes her decision to tell Rick. Yeah. Well, yeah, that was an imaginary that is, real friend. Is that what they're talking about when they say the morally... Challenge. They're probably talking about Tara. Uh, well, they're talking about Tara, Rosita. Yeah. You they're think? About, or they're talking I, about no, I think it's Tara. Sasha. I think it's Tara. It, it has to be Tara. Cause I think it's Tara because she's a fucking way. asswipe and yeah. doesn't want to fucking... Yeah. So she has Rosita to hasn't changed baby. her mind since the mid-season finale in which she was uh, right. completely under She's a little fucking brat. Anyway, let's get right into uh, the Rick and Michonne sexcapade 2017. <laughs> what do you think about that, Chris? When you start us off with the... Well, I don't have a lot to say about it. I'm going to say um, I actually I actually like this video. This video. I like this episode more than I thought I was going to. Um, and if you look, go back and watch the review, if you haven't watched it already, I gave I gave it a solid three across the board because I again, it wasn't the best episode. It was a middling episode, but I really I actually enjoyed the interactions. Most of the interactions between Rick and Michonne, I thought that. Um, I, I, I liked seeing them together and I liked seeing them in action. I thought that was fun. It was very like comic book like to me. Like that was like a scenario yeah. from the comic book where you have two of your main characters going out and doing something on their own. It was playful. I, I enjoyed the shit out of it. I really did. And in fact, the more that I think about it, I, I enjoyed it. <laughs> it's set in a carnival. You know, it's it's set on like the carnival grounds and there's yeah. all these broken down rides and they use them to their advantage. They overshoot. He's like, I think I overshoot. Some of the dialogue was great. She, he's like, you can handle eight. He's like, you got this. I, see, I, I disagree because you guys know that as soon as they found the fucking supplies, you know, when they fall, fall, fall first of all, falling through the fucking roof. I didn't say on. I liked all of it, man. I all liked right. I liked I liked when I they were working gripes. together. Oh my god. You the, know, the, that was the, that was that was dumb as fuck though. Yeah, you're right. But it goes to show you, it doesn't matter how smart or how long you've been in this shit. You're they're human and they're gonna forg- and they're gonna just let things slide I, and be like, I'm gonna go off and be a human. Oh, I fell through a fucking roof because I'm an idiot and I didn't pay attention. It's so fucking repetitive. How many times have we seen stop throughout this? You, you yelled, stop falling through roofs, asshole. Stop falling through fucking roofs, asshole. <laughs> oh, but that's, that's you know what I mean? They get on, they climb up this fucking shitty, leaky, muddy looking roof. It yeah. doesn't look like it can support a, a, a fucking pigeon. I mean, there's standing water on the roof. Yeah, Seriously, dude. I knew, that's got to be, and it's a wooden roof. It's not like, you know, it's not going to be... <laughs> You know, so well, no, it's like a hospital roof, you know, with the gravel on top. Yeah, but yeah, but you know, you don't. But know, underneath that, that it, can, that yeah. can still be plywood well, or formica. It doesn't matter. It yeah. could be, you yeah. know. Regardless, it's just 
you know, the decision making in this episode drove me nuts. And you guys know if you look at if you look at the live reaction, and um, I definitely uh, you know let everybody know how I was feeling about yeah, well, yeah. the whole. They find this. They, you know, you were talking about how oh they had a good time and they were counting the bodies. How many you got? How many this and that? You know what? It's like let's not take anything for granted. And you're in this world, you're in this uh, apocalyptic world where at any moment the wrong people can be driving by. You know, the Stay a on large your toes. group of, you, you want them you know, to be on their toes group. at all times. Get yeah. your fucking. Well, we shit. actually see the wrong people driving by, oh, driving by with the saviors well, there. Yeah, with the golf clubs, right? But just, just you, you, you find that's like finding gold. That's like finding buried treasure. Yeah, no, you, you wanted know? them to get the fuck out of there. Get the fucking shit and leave. Well, here was you my here was one of my things. They Rick kept saying, oh, "A couple more days, a couple more one days," more and we're all, day. go, we're all going like. Not only do you have to get back to yeah. get this fucking madman his supplies, you have a fucking daughter and a son back there. What the yeah. shit are you doing? Yeah. Why are you well, running around? I get it. Like you, I get it. You just wanted to, I guess, be alone for a minute and just take a fucking breather after all the shit. You just fought a fucking Mad Max zombie. We get that. Yeah. By the way, by the way, hand aside, his leg's fine now? Not limping? We don't He's, know how much time has well, passed. He's fine? Yeah. It can't be too much it time. It can't be but... too much, yeah, because they just and they came also from the fucking place. they also just fell from a fucking roof. Yeah, and then this onto laying, a pad. Yeah, they're laying on. Yeah, of course, it's like a couch or something under whatever yeah. the fuck, a, a, a fucking whatever. They're, they're sitting there and they're laughing. That that kind of drove me nuts because, you know, the we knew something was going to happen. You know, you you know, some a buildup was going to happen because they were all talking like, oh, we got this kind of a thing. And then what happens? They end up, you know, the, the car ends up right. uh, having no brakes, whatever Rick said. And, and it kept rolling and Michonne had to jump into the back of the fucking, the, you know, the, the car, you know, uh, I think, I think one of the only cool parts, and I mentioned this too, is when they pop out of the sunroof of the, of yeah. the car, it's very reminiscent of when Rick, Climbed out of the tank in the first episode and, yeah. and all this kind of stuff or whatever, whatever, you know, Which the first season. Mentions, by the way. Yeah. The so, it, you know, but... it was, you know, yeah. overall for me, I mean, I, I know that I, you know, we've been talking a little bit, let, let Jesse chime in on this, but I have one more thing. It was, it was, um, the, the only bright side of, of Rick and Michonne, um, and we mentioned this a little bit, uh, in the review too, but the conversation of, of you know between Rick and and Michonne in, in the van after they're heading back and they have the supplies and how you know um, we also see how it looked like Michonne was just going to give herself up when she thought that Rick was the one getting munched on she drops her sword and it's kind of like you know it, it gave us a, a, a glimpse into how they really feel about each other and that's what I think a majority of this episode was about because it showed their love together it showed their playfulness together like Chris said and and um, I thought that was intriguing to hear, and I thought that it was cool for Rick to say, listen, we're going to lose people if we go to war. When we go to war, we're going to lose people we love. We're going to lose people in our group. And if I die, you know, um, I'll, I'll have to move on and I'll have to lead. And if you die, I'll, I'll do the same. You know, like, we have to stay strong in the end. And, um, you I, know, I just I thought like that, that was... too much, though. I didn't like those I, lines. I, see, I thought they were I like, thought, he's like, it's, listen. It's, more You're gonna die. I don't but... care. I'm gonna die. You shouldn't care. It's like, what the fuck is well, the point? What are you doing then? Why did you go? Man, let's stay a couple more days. And what the fuck? Why would you say that then? Yeah, uh, well, I don't know. I I always enjoy. No, you know, I always enjoy you know Rick's character, and Michonne has grown on me a lot in these last few seasons. So, um, yeah, that's really what I had to say about that. But it was, it was, it was a love thing. It was showing. It was a love fest. Yeah. It was, you know, their sex capade, you know, episode. By the way, you know? Jesse, you're right. This was Mike's turn to rant. So yeah. one well, of us I, always I mean, rants. And one of us always has to like, cause, cause it bothers one of us oh, so rant, bad. Dude. Something bothers. I love it though. Yeah. I love it. That's awesome. What do you think, Jeff? All right. So, uh, on a scale of one to 10, the predictability is a 27. Uh, yeah, that's first thing. off, got, yeah, both you guys, you guys are both <laughs> water falls through right? the roof. I yeah. called it. I said, "Hey, that walker in the glass there. He's going to get in the car. He's going to try to start it or whatever. And the walker is going to be alive and going to try yeah. to bite him." Boom! There we go. <laughs> the boot Boom. grabs the boot. It's going to fall off. 
There we go. Grabs the legs. The legs come off. There you go again. Yeah, he's All throwing right. chunks of these bodies. He's just throwing pieces of his fucking wall there, right? As he was climbing up the Ferris wheel. Mike and I both had the same thought. I think Mike vo- uh, voiced it. Something's going to happen. Yeah, yeah. Falls off the Ferris wheel. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> With the ghost deer. I call that thing a again, ghost deer. That thing was again. There. They really, you know, they built it up. They built it up. So, uh, you know, and going with, like, the kind of music that they were showing and the pacing. And just showing, like, um, them just being so nonchalant about all these walkers and stuff. You knew something was going to, I mean, you know. But... uh, One highlight that stood out above it all, though. Gabriel. Yes. Yeah, even though he was only in it for a brief moment, he kind of put put Rosita in, 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 in check when oh, yeah. she was, you know, um, when she was, uh, you know, visits him in the church and she's pretty much blaming him for the fact that she's still alive. Damn, asshole, man. That she you know follows what? her, his advice. And that's why she's still here. And like, you know, he, he's a great character and I'm glad, you know, that we actually, that he's on our side, on the survival oh, yeah. side. You know, now, and let's, you know, let's see him get fucking badass. You know what I mean? Let's I'm glad see they got Seth Gilliam to do him. Yeah. Yeah, Seth Gilliam definitely plays it well. I don't, I don't particularly like the character, though. I understand why we need him, but I think, I think he's yeah. an asshole. Um, are we good with Rick and Michonne? Anything else you want to add, Jess? Yeah, no, no, no. Since we're on the um, subject, let's move over to Rosita, because... I, I like the Glenn sentiment that he put in there. Talking yeah. about Glenn, like, saving him. Yeah, I good. like I like that he mentioned the fact that you know he's he's feeling it a little bit, you know, like you yeah. know, and that's and he says he's not sleeping, and I think that's, you know, Mike, you wanted to know why he didn't want to go back, and I was I was you know what, Ugh, damn it, all right, let me say it. I, I was saying this to you earlier on the other videos, but it's like I feel like the reason why, I was telling Mike like during the the live reaction, I was like you know, they want to stay, hu- they're human, they're human, and when you're in the middle of something shitty. Once you get used to being yeah. in the shit, you re- time slows down a little bit. Things aren't always so rushed and hectic, and and they find these pockets of time where they can take that moment to be have fun. I, I mean, hey, laugh. look, I understand. So, I mean, that's why they're having sex. It's just and they're it's just laughing so and they're joking because they, yeah. it's slowed down for them now. The, the rush, the adrenaline's down. They're seeing things a little more clearly. They see that there's places they can maneuver instead of having to rush forward all the time. Uh, but anyway. Regardless, I mean, I, yeah. I, you know, I think it was more. I think it was just more last little thing. I think it was more not that they were that they were realizing they had some time to 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 relax, not to relax, well, but it, like you said, to to maybe enjoy a little bit. Or yeah. I think it was just more for the show to kind of give us an idea of how close they really are and how much they really love. You know what I mean? Well, I also yeah. think it's good for Rick's character because it shows again that he, he he's not sleeping and he just doesn't want to go back and face everything. That's part of it, I think, you know. Well, he, you know what? Too bad there, buddy. You got a fucking 2-year-old fucking daughter bad. and <laughs> Let's you know, go to, let's uh, go to another asshole so Rosita one, because one eye, we uh, don't have to stay long on her. Let's just, no. you know, she's still angry well, and she's she's na- she's now the carol of the fucking ep- the show right now. This yeah. this whiny little I get it. I get it. I get it that she wants to do something. You see, it's hard because it's like you want to be mad at her because she's being an asshole and not a team member. But there's always going to be someone that's like th- there isn't enough being done. She's going rogue. We're ranking on her and we're calling her all these names. But honestly, she just wants revenge. Also, she feels think about this. She feels super guilty for getting not one, but two fucking people killed in the same day. So she feels like I need to do. I. I she can't sit yeah. with herself, man. She. She can't fucking be alone with and herself. She feels. She feels. She feels guilty about Eugene too. Obviously, she. Oh, three. You're right. Know? So she's got two people died on her watch. She even said it in this episode. Mm-hmm. Two people died on her watch, and Eugene got taken. So she feels like I need to fucking fix this. I'm gonna go do yeah. this. She's been out to fucking shoot Negan herself. She. She failed. Got someone killed. You know. Yeah. So she ends up going over to Sasha, and she knows. You know. Um. They both have nothing to lose. Yeah. To a degree. I mean, well, they, there's, they, there's yeah. a fan. They, yeah, exactly. They're at that moment and they're at that point in their, you know, in, in, you know, in their lives, you know, in the show, obviously, that that they just don't give a shit. You know, it's like I think they're both mourning Abraham big time and they're mourning him in different ways, but they still have that common denominator when it comes to. We want revenge. The and that's reason, what, you know, the reason that he's said. dead. The reason yeah, he's dead. Yeah, that, that's a man that's, named Negan. You know. Yeah, and they and you know Sasha is also one that wanted to go after Negan yeah. too. So, 
In fact, she yeah. was going to, remember? But, well, uh, I think she does think? the acting good, but the writing's poor. So, and that's why in the review I said, you know what you should do? You should take a gun and go BAM! Yeah. Because yeah. No, nothing uh, against uh, Christian Serrano. She does an amazing job on it. She plays her character convincingly. Right. But they need to kill the character off before they ruin it anymore. Because they're ruining her character completely for me. One of one of them is not coming back, at least, if not for if not both of them. Well, like they said, if one of us doesn't make it, we both don't make it. I so. um, ha, who, out of Sasha and Rosita, who would you guys prefer live? What character Honestly, do you enjoy more? Sasha's not as much of a crybaby, so yeah, I think Sasha would be the better. I do like the Sasha character. Um, but I do think um, she had her crybaby moment. She's kind of redeemed. Yeah, she had that whole moment when she was laying in the corpses after yeah. Tyrese and yeah, she had and, and she had her yeah. yeah, she had the whole Michonne kind of beef thing, and yeah. you know, um, yeah. I mean, either one. It's not. They're not. I like. See, so I like pivotal. Sasha. I like Sasha better than Rosita. Me so too. If Me anything, too. I'd want the character of Sasha. I just, I just like her character. She's got more depth than Rosita. Rosita's never had that much depth. Which She's... comic Rosita has a little bit more depth than Sasha does in the show. So. Yeah, true. Well, but hey. they also gave her more of a story in the comics. So yeah. It's like, you know, that story hasn't happened yet and may or may not happen depending on what happens at the end of the season. Um, well, uh, let's, uh, as we're rounding this out here, why don't we talk about um, Tara, which was the only other thing that went down. Uh, we mentioned her in the beginning where... You know, someone had to make a moral decision. So this whole time she's waffling, you know, on whether to tell. And we've been we've been yelling at this character for the past three episodes now, being yeah. like, asshole, yeah. you need to fucking say something. You just you don't have to tell everybody. Tell just Rick. Yeah. So she has this. I like moment. how I'm the patient one, whether the sin like, she will in oh, due time. God. Well, she obviously yeah. needed to she was debating the decision to tell Rick. You know, and that's what we see in the beginning when when she's having the conversation with Rosita. Um, with with no, with, well, with Rosita. I mean, Rosita was kind of like like um, Ro I don't know if she, Tara was was gonna go. You know, when Rosita was sitting on the thing and giving herself the stitches or whatever, maybe Tara's plan was to possibly say something about Oceanside or anything. But it was just more about venting. It was more Rosita was the the bitch one that was like, we should be doing this, we should be doing that, we should, you know, and um. Uh, uh, more along the fact that she was venting, uh, Tara was venting to Judith, yeah. and and yeah. and trying to decide whether or not to, you know, to say something. And I guess she just needed to say this to somebody. Yeah. That, uh, oh, they might you know, kill us or something like that if we go and get them. Like if they see us before we get there, yeah. and all that. Maybe she wanted to hear her words, you know, you know, out in the air, out loud. Sometimes really, when you say when you say yeah. things out loud into a baby, you know. Uh, That's not responding. It doesn't understand. I mean, she didn't have an animal there to talk to, so baby's the next best thing. <laughs> yeah. Like, what so, are you talking about, Judith, bitch? Judith was adorable in this episode. We're getting yeah. to see her a little older, which is really cool. But yeah, she was just like, bitch. <laughs> like, I, we all thought she was cute. The diaper's I mean, full. Change it. Yeah. I made a funny <laughs> comment about her shitting in public, like her dad did earlier in the like episode. Her dad was. So that yeah. was pretty funny. Yeah. Um, but no, I liked. Yeah, I mean, that's you know, and then she decides at the end that she's gonna tell Rick and and yeah. and um. So we just assume that she told him. Thank yeah. you. Finally, you know that's that's what you got to do. You know, uh, which is great because that will help Rick in getting these more guns. Okay, can we just briefly talk about the garbage pail kids? Because I fuck was just you, say fuck that them, yeah. shut the oh fuck up. God. No, oh you don't need God. more. You stupid asshole. I hate you. The title of the episode is "Say Yes," and that was the line at the end when Rick tells repeats her line from that other episode with them, when yeah. she says "Say Yes." Um, I think she, I will say, I think this garbage bail queen, she, re, she respects Rick. Rick, Rick is not an idiot. Rick's like, no, 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 no. You're going to do what I fucking say. Like, he stands Ten. up to her. He doesn't concede to her. I like that. Be my Rosita's like, forget it. Take our guns back. Come on. Yeah, let's you go. Know? Like, you know, um, the bargaining was so stupid though. 10, like, five, five guns, 10, six, like, 10. 10, seven. I wish one of them nine. was like. So yeah. went, up, went up higher, and the other one's like, you don't know how to haggle, do you? Yeah. That's not oh how haggling God. works. The fucking Ten. talking. Love that the nine and the cat back. Oh yeah, nine and the cat. She says the cat, and he's like, he smiles. He's like... 20 and the cat. You know, so, God, I mean, it's not cat. horrible. I enjoyed the joke with Tara where she's like, she's like, no, and she's like, 
no, no to the no to the list like you know yeah. like tara's fun like that where they, they give her well, these dumb lines you know in the end rick needs to give them more guns to junk the junk pile people the junkie people and we all know I'd where those like, other I'd guns like, are you know gonna what? come from how about this how about i take all the guns back i kill all of you and I figure out another way to fucking kill this asshole. Yeah. Hmm? Well, but he's too fucking focused. It's... He's too focused. He wants to fucking. He's like, we need these people. Exactly. And these people are like, I don't know. I, I, I had a thought. These people might fucking turn, turn tail and run, though. These, we Am think I... like, oh, they're going to join them and be fine. Meanwhile, these motherfuckers are pride themselves on staying out they they don't they didn't even get the supplies off the boat they let other people do it for them exactly so how, how do we know that these people are going to actually fight for rick okay i'm not convinced that they're going to yeah. oceanside they're going to fight for rick because yeah. they've got something that's they lost all of their fathers and brothers and sons they mm -hmm. they were they have a legitimate beef these fucking assholes i bet you they're going to fucking either turn tail or join their saviors even because they're a fucking bunch of rats so. Yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll say. I mean, I, that's a definite possibility. I can even see maybe some people from the junkies being relative to some of these Oceanside people. Maybe. That would kind of that yeah, would kind of be. Maybe. You know, imagine you know maybe one or two of the guy, the men or something, happens to be you know mm. a part of this new group or something. That would be kind of cool. That'd but, be corny. Yeah, I mean, it, it would be a, it would be a way to tie together like a loyalty kind of a thing. Maybe. Um, or you they know, may not even just go down to... that road at all. Nah, they may. I not. mean, that it's would make it that there. would make it real interesting because that's not something that spoiler alert happened in the comic. But mm. we're dealing with two other groups now that are not part of this this Negan Warren in the comic. So yeah. we're off on our own, doing our own thing. That's fine. I think it would be very interesting if they did turn tail, you know, um, and and you know they show up, you know, and they and they're not there. You know what I'm saying? Like, they look to the east, yeah. and they're not there. Fuck. Gandalf, yeah. where the fuck are you? You know what I'm saying? So, I don't you know. You shall not get my guns. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so join us next time as we talk about Lord of the Rings. No, um... Oh, man, that'd be I'd awesome. be down for that. I'd fucking be yeah, down no, for that. Be, <laughs> yeah, me Can too. you do a live reaction to Lord of the Rings? It'd just be the yeah. three of us crying the entire time yeah. for 12 hours <laughs> watching the extended cuts. Could you guys do that? Love this movie. 12 hours of us crying because we love those fucking movies? Um, oh, my God. You can tell so, we're big nerds. Yeah, I got so excited. Well, of course we're nerds. Look at our fucking YouTube <laughs> channel, man. We're talking about people in a zombie apocalypse. Of course we're fucking Exactly. Nerds. And it's beautiful. It's so, just for the people that And you that know what? You know. guys love it, and we love you for loving us doing this. So thank you very much. Guys, yep. I think that's going to do it. Are we done? I believe I so. Is that an episode? Is that a show? Guys, I want to thank you very, very, very much for all of the comments. And listen, if we haven't gotten to your comment on all the other videos and whatnot, we will. All right? Uh, we finished up on our February uh, QFIG giveaways. Uh, we will have another mm -hmm. giveaway this month, so stay tuned for that. Uh, if you're listening to, us on, to we, listening to us on iTunes, thank you very much. If you want to give us a review, that would be fucking phenomenal. If you like what we do here, please, so other people can get involved. Tell your friends. Tell your family. Um, if, you want, if you're on iTunes, come, come over to YouTube. Check out the YouTube channel. See what we look like. See what's yep. going on here. See the video we put in the middle and all that good stuff. Uh, don't forget... Uh, we still have our Comic Blitz stuff going on. And right. I'll just real quickly tell you, it's comicblitz.com. We have a promo code, Third Person Pod. Get yourself, um, there's over 4,500 comics that you can go, you can binge on them. You're going to get that code. is going to give you $3. Uh, you, sp you spend $3 for the first three months. You sign up for any of their subscriptions. It's a dollar a month for the first three months. So three bucks yep. gets you tons of comics. Go in there, get your binge on, as Mike likes to say. Um, don't forget, we have a third-person pod. All right, go check uh, check out our, our socials down there. Um, also, the last thing I want to... Uh, I've been doing this on the other videos, but uh, I just want to know if you guys could answer me one thing. If you guys like us splitting up these videos, if you like if you like seeing the review, the discussion, and the live reaction into three different videos for each episode of what we're doing, uh, let us know because we, wanna, we want that feedback so we can know if this is what we're going to do. Like I said previously, we like I think we like this format. Um, mm -hmm. We would oh, like yeah. to stick with it, but we like your feedback too because we do this for you guys. So um, please let us know. And uh, I think that's going to do it for us, right? Yep. It's everything we got to plug, guys. We did it. We did it. We did it again, yep. guys. One more yeah. week down. We got them all out. We did it. Yes. Let's hope going forward these fucking episodes are better. We're getting close to the end. So wait, yeah. is uh, how many we got? What is Sixteen. That? We got four left. Fuck, that's 
That's a lot, man. Damn. Not as many as you think. No, I know, but if they're <laughs> they gonna better keep... not draw it yeah, out. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Draw I don't want to see no drawn out bullshit. All right, anyway, we're gonna go. We're gonna go bitch about this off camera, guys. Thank you so much. Oh, we love you. We're God. gonna see you next episode. Thank you very much. Peace out. Peace.